Joining me now from Las Vegas, businessman Danny Tarkanian, son of the legendary UNLV basketball coach Jerry Tarkanian. Had to get that in there. Uh, thank you very much, Danny, <laughs> for being with us. And, and I want to start with thank this. A spokesperson for Senator Heller has dismissed your run, saying you've wasted conservatives' time, cost Republican seats up and down the ballot. You have run for office five times before, and I hate to point it out, you've lost all five times. So why is this going to be any different for you? Look, and I've had some very tough races and very um, difficult um, races, and I lost the last one by 1% uh, to your previous host uh, guest, uh, Jackie Rosen. And uh, I'm right there on the verge of overcoming some very, very tough, difficult losses, and we're going to get it done this election. But let me say, if Dean Heller's campaign was not worried about me running against him, then they wouldn't, then Dean Heller wouldn't be all of a sudden now becoming, uh, embracing President Trump and being his BFF and saying that he's now voted for him after he spent four months during the campaign in 2016 ridiculing and condemning President Trump. They're obviously very worried well, that I'm going to beat him, and that's why Dean Heller is now embracing the president. Let's talk about embracing President Trump, because that's something that you have obviously done. You've got this uh, in the local paper here, this ad out welcoming the president, and then on the bottom of the fold, smacking Dean Heller for, you say, helping Hillary Clinton by attacking Donald Trump. Are you confident that embracing the president is the right strategy well, for you? Is that going to get I you over the goal line? I don't, I don't campaign on doing what's the right strategy. I campaign on what's doing what's right and what's right for our country. And what's right for our country is embracing President Trump's America First policies. That's what the Are people voted him into office because of those policies. And I fully embrace those policies. And I didn't smack Dean Heller around. I just used the quotes that he used in the 2016 campaign. And I just put it in the ad. It's his uh, words, not mine. He told USA Today, Senator Heller this is, that he uh, says he will continue to beat this drum, that he did exactly what he said he was going to do on health care, in the sense that he wanted to protect Medicaid expansion in the state and get rid of the mandates, those portions of Obamacare that he disagreed with. Your reaction? Uh, Hell, is completely out of touch with what's wrong with Obamacare. The problem with Obamacare is what it's doing to the hardworking middle-class Americans that have seen their premiums, like my family. My family's premiums have gone up 300 percent. Our deductibles have gone up 500 percent. My son had a stroke two years ago, and now he sees a specialist, uh, several specialists, three times a, uh, a year. And we got to pay $150 just to walk through the door to see a specialist when it used to be $25. Our the problem with Obamacare is a skyrocketing cost and the burden is placed on middle-class Americans. It's not what Dean Heller's saying. Dean Heller's saying those this. things so that he can get some pri uh, general election votes. You, uh, when we talk about the president being here, you have said some things recently that have made a lot of headlines, specifically the idea that the president is correct, essentially, that, that both sides are to blame. And he said many sides are to blame for the Charlottesville violence. Uh, this puts you on a little bit of an island. There have been very few Republicans who have come out to support the president in his initial response to Charlottesville. I know this morning you have doubled down on that position. Do you really think that very fine people, some of them marched with neo-Nazis and white supremacists in Charlottesville? Look, it's disappointing that Republicans would jump on what the mainstream media is making uh, out of this story when there's nothing there. It's not doubling down. It's just saying the truth. Donald Trump said that both sides well, are to blame Danny, for that I'm event. Point you back. Who can, disagree, point you back to the who question, can disagree with that when you had one Did of the, very on the fine all left side have a flamethrower trying to burn the rioters? Come on now. Let me, Any reasonable let me person would feel to the that question way. Here. Let me yeah. redirect you to the question here about very fine people, as the president says, he believes marched yeah. with neo-Nazis in Charlottesville. Do you, do you yeah. also believe that, that? That's the second quote that you said. And yeah, I, I have no idea who, who um, marched in Charlottesville. I would assume the president knows better than you know. Do you know who everybody who marched in Charlottesville? What the president was and trying last, to say was, the there was some, you. Now, let me finish this for one second. You asked, Danny, me, well, you asked me to be on. Can I please finish? You, well, then, sure, there, absolutely. There were people, you asked me a the question, I was going to answer, but go ahead. Were, the president was saying that there were some people that were not, not part of the KKK, white supremacists and others, that were just marching because they didn't want to see a statute of Robert E. Lee taken down. A lot of people in the South revere Robert E. Lee, and there may have been some good people that were not part of this white supremacist group that were also marching. Do you know otherwise? Do you know everybody that marched and know Before, that there was well, none let me, of them So let me ask you people? this. If you're marching, yeah. let me ask you this. If you're marching for this statue, as you said, and somebody pulls out the KKK symbols and pulls out a Nazi flag. Do you keep marching? No, of course not. 
I know. But how do you know where the people were at or, or what the whole um, march group was about there? You know, it was a large group. What about the other side that was having the bats and the urine and the feces and the, and the flanks thrower and the things that they did? You know, the problem is it was a horrendous activity from both sides and both sides were to blame and that's what the president hey, said. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.